Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to set up SuperX Flight Controller once you have it installed. Uh, real quickly, I want to say that if you do have a brushless gimbal on your quad, be sure to disconnect it prior to doing this because by tilting it and doing some of the things you're going to have to do to get this thing calibrated, you will have some issues with the uh, gimbal going outside of its range. So to get started here, I got my Super X already hooked up, it's inside, everything's connected, I've got my battery charged and ready to go. So I'll cut on my transmitter here and we will plug in the battery. Now I have Now with the Super X, one of the nice things is that everything in this quad is controlled here through this light system. So you can see I have my flight modes set on my right switch here. So as I switch it, it changes different flashing patterns. So here we have a solid green flashing, which means that the quad is in manual mode. When it goes to two flashes here with a slow flash, this means that it's in attitude mode. And when it's here with a double flash, it means it's in GPS mode. So you can see it's flashing red and green right now. That means that the GPS has not been acquired. And if we leave it here for a minute, we should be getting a GPS lock pretty shortly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do when we're trying to set up our Super X, is we're going to map out how far our controls get to move to make it so that this controller can know exactly how far every one of our inputs is going to be able to go. So we only have to do that for two things. We have to do it for center stick. So when the stick is centered like this, and for when our sticks are full up in the right position. So to do that, we're going to unplug the quad, plug it back in, it's initialized, everything's good. So I'm going to rapidly move my flight mode switch, and we'll see this rapid flashing. Now when that happens, we're just going to move to center stick position. I'm going to move it fast again. Solid green light means it's accepted it, and I'm going to unplug. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it for all the way forward. So I'm going to plug it back in again. I see that my flight mode switch is going, so I'm going to rapidly move it back and forth again until I see that red and blue light. Move my sticks all the way top right. I'll see the green flash. I'll move it back and forth again while still holding it, and then release. And now my flight controls are mapped. So the next thing we're going to do is calibrate the GPS and compass. So to do that, we're going to again plug in the quad. Once I see these lights start, all right, we're good. So I'm going to move it rapidly again. I'm going to wait until this turns to a green solid light. It's flashing. I'm going to move it again, and now we see we have a solid green light. So when that happens, we're going to pick up the quad, and we're going to slowly rotate until we see a flashing light. Then we're going to pick it up directly, we're going to rotate again. Then we're going to put it upside down, same direction, and rotate one more time. Once that happens, we have a solid green light like I do here. That means that everything was good. So I'll unplug it, plug it back in, and now we're good to fly.